Hi guys, this is Rosita Applebaum and this is going to be part one of my relationship slash, um, I guess, um, standards, expectations series. So this is just going to be like the basics, what you should expect from a man or a woman. Um, yeah, just like the, the really basics like turning it into a relationship, turning a friendship into a relationship, um, getting started. So. I have nothing written down, so this is all just going to be kind of me freestyling, um, just like kind of rambling basically, but just FYI, I am not a relationship expert, I do not study this, this is just from personal experience, I am single, um, so I know a lot of people say like, how can you take advice, relationship advice from someone who's single, but I've basically experienced a few different types of relationships, a few of the same relationships. I'm going to be turning 20 soon and sometimes I think like why would I know so much for being so young but it's because I started you know like dating and things like that when I was really young so. So first things first is your worth. So it's not enough to know your worth because a lot of people can know their worth but they don't do anything about it so knowing your worth meaning Okay, are you a student? Are you working? Are you, do you take care of yourself and your family? Like, you know, what are your goals? What are your achievements? What have you done? You know, do you volunteer? Are you a, just a genuinely good person? And even if you make mistakes, like, just knowing your worth, knowing where you stand in the world and in society, you know, do you, do you like always seek the benefit? Do you, I mean, do you always see the positive in things? Do you look out for all your friends, for your family? These things make you, right? So your personality, what you're willing to give somebody, what you're willing to give the world, um, that basically is your worth. You know that you're a great person. Don't settle, like, knowing your worth isn't enough because you can know that you're a great girl, but you can just settle for someone that's not as great. And I feel like a lot of people, including me, have made this mistake of saying like, yes, I'm this, this, and that, and I deserve this, this, and that, but we choose to not go for that whether it's just not available or even if it is you just don't want to see that we choose people who want to we want to chase and we want to we want to be hurt by if you're constantly telling someone how to treat you just get out because the right person is going to know how to treat you you don't have to tell anybody what to do to make you happy you know like that person should just make you happy um of course some people haven't been exposed to certain things they are not used to being in a relationship so some guys you know were never really in a real relationship so you'd have to kind of guide them but i feel like a lot of people who are in successful relationships the guy has already had a share of you know mess around and you know things like that so when that right girl comes like he just knows so if you if you're sitting there and you're crying every night thinking why doesn't he just accept that I'm such a good person? Or like, why doesn't he just treat me the way that I deserve to be treated? The answer is already there, you know? He's just not for you, or maybe you're not for him, or maybe it's just not the right time. That's possible. In the future, maybe he's gonna, you know, accept things and want something. Most guys at this age are scared, you know? They're scared of committing, they're scared of doing anything serious. So just accept that. You just have to accept it. There's no... If you're if you're if you're gonna convince a guy to want to be in a relationship with you, it's wrong from the start. You don't have to convince anybody that being with you is the right decision for them because they're gonna know that it's the right decision for them. It's just simple. Like if you're if you have to constantly think like why am I the one putting in 150? If he's putting in 50 or not even that. Your answer is there, you just don't want to accept it, you're in denial. You think that he's going to overnight just be like, oh, well, now I want you and now I want to give you everything. Wrong. Stop wasting your time and worry about yourself and don't just don't look for it. Because when you look for it and you try to change people or convince people or try to show them who you, like, what, what you're willing to give for them and they're not doing so in, like, back to you, if they're not doing the same back, you just need to leave like it's it's hard and it's it's really hard and if the if the guy even knows that he he's not good enough for you and I, and i feel like that term is really is it's it's a hard term because like it's not really like good good enough it's just a matter of like what page you guys are on cuz like nobody's better than anybody period i'm not better than you you're not better than that guy he's not better than you period it's just a matter of are you like you know maybe you're ready and he's not so at in in that 
fits in that category, he's not good enough because he's not ready to give you what you are giving. But he, you're not a better person than him because you are more mature. You're not a better person than him because you're ready and he's not. That's not the case. You just have to accept it and just say, hey, you know what? He doesn't want this, so why am I wasting my time on somebody who knows they don't want me, but I'm going to try anyway? Wrong. Just I just feel like a guy should respect you. I'm talking about little things. If he doesn't pick you up, I'm not talking about he has to pick you up in a car. No, if he if you guys are going out somewhere and train, he should pick you up at the station or at your house. If you don't feel comfortable at your house, okay, at the train station and drop you off as close as you feel comfortable. If that means outside your house, let him drop you off in front of your house. Just let it be known that you know, you're not going to be traveling for these guys like that's just a, a guy that's willing to have his girl travel all over the place for him. You already he already won. You, you already gave in. Once you already said that, where, yes, I'm willing to go anywhere for you and you're, you're not going to do nothing for me, wrong. There's a lot of things out there, like, there's danger outside. If, if a man is willing, if he's okay with his girl out in the street at night going home because she wants to go see you, I'm sorry, bro, like, that's disrespectful. Like, I just, I'm, I'm very old school. A guy should pick you up, drop you off in the first dates. He should pay for the date. It just is what it is. If you're asking a girl on a date, you're paying. Done. Like, it doesn't have to be a $50, it doesn't have to be an $80 dinner. It could be so simple, but it matters. It matters that you're taking initiative. You're, you're taking the initiative to, to take 30 minutes out of your life to drop her off and make sure she's safe. Because at the end of the day, she doesn't have to be out with you. A girl that's not worth your time is, is willing to is going to go over to your house and do whatever with you. But if you have a good girl, don't let her do that. And girls, don't let yourself be that girl. Like, don't let yourself be the one who's always chasing him. No, it has to be equal. You shouldn't chase him. He shouldn't chase you. should be equal. There should be respect. So that's the first thing. He should drop you off and pick you up. Done. If there's no... There's, whether train, walking, I don't care if you're broke, you're going to walk. You'll find $2 in your pocket and you will take the train to go pick her up because, lady, ladies, are you worth $2? Please, you're worth more than that. So he, if he's not willing to sacrifice going to the club and buying a bottle to, to save that money for, you, for a cab for you and him to go out, his priorities are not there and you need to accept them. Not change him. If he's not doing that, accept it just accept it just walk away just say you know what it's just not I'm not getting what I deserve here and done also if you're if you write if you're in a friendship if you two are friends and you decide hey you know what we should start talking we have like you know an attraction for each other that does not mean that you guys don't have to do the dates and do the courting and do that no if you guys have been friends for I don't care eight years and you started talking now I don't care what you guys have gone through he should still take you out on a dinner date. He should still take you out. He should, you should still, like, do everything that is in the books. Like, you should still be going through that. It's not, like, a free pass. Just like, oh, you know, we've been friends. I know her. I know him. We don't have to do the dating. No, if you guys are going to start dating, well, then start dating. Another thing is respect. Not respecting himself. So what makes you think he's going to respect you? He a real man respects himself enough to care. Caring about what people think about you is not wrong. I feel like a lot of people are like, I don't care what people think about me, but you should at some, at, to a certain extent. Like, don't care if they look at you while you're eating by yourself, but do care that everyone, no one's gonna take you serious if you don't take yourself serious. So why would you be with a guy that doesn't even take himself serious? He's not gonna take you serious. He's not gonna take the relationship serious. He might act like he is for the first, I don't know, a few weeks. After he gets comfortable, he will go back to not being serious about anything. And you need to step out of that because that's not what you're worth. You're not worth being with someone who's not serious about you. For that, just don't even, don't even bother. Like, just be friends. I don't know. Just not even worry about yourself. Worry about going to school. Worry about going, you know, making money, having friends, going out. Don't get caught up on trying to tell a guy to be serious with you because if he wanted to, he just would. And it's sad because 
a lot of guys miss out on really, really, really good girls that are willing to, one, be loyal, respectful, all the above, you know. But they're going to miss out because they're not, they're not serious about anything and they're scared of being serious. And that's okay. Whether it's because of the way he was raised, whether it's because he doesn't want to, let it be. Live and let live. Like, don't go changing him or trying or convincing yourself and being in denial that, no, this guy's going to change for me. No, he might. But is, is that the real answer there? Like, is he really changing? And plus, you don't want a man that's going to change for you. You want a man that's going to change for himself. You want somebody who is willing to respect you, himself, your friends. Your friends. He needs to respect your friends because at the end of the day, they were your friends from before. He needs to respect his family. He needs to respect his job, his coworkers, everybody. If you see that he doesn't hold the door for people, if he's not, he's just nonchalant about everything. He thinks that he's a big shot. He thinks he has it. He has a car, so he thinks that he's, you know, over everybody. He, he thinks he looks so good that he doesn't have to do anything. Sweetie, just stop. And, and it's, it's a hard, it's hard because you need to experience it and go through it and, and put up with bullshit in order to know that you're not worth that bullshit. Like you need to actually be in that situation, sitting at home crying sometimes in order to get it. Some girls don't have to go through that because they have good judgment and they, you know, they, they have good self-control. Like they, they know their worth and they stick to their worth. Know your worth, but stick to it. If you're saying you're such a great girl, stick by that. And don't go out with, a, with someone not worth your time. If you are a great, respectable, respectable woman, know that, but, but, but pursue that. Stay, stay true to that, because if the minute that you settle for less is when that just goes out the window. All that talk about how you're such a great girl and how you do this, this, and that, and you clean, and you cook, and you go to school, and you go to work, and you do this, where, where to go? It's out the drain now. A man is stepping all over your pride and your respect and all that. The, the schoolwork, the, the work that you do. He, he already has won because he's not doing anything for you and you're doing everything for him. And, and it's sad, but to, in this day, it's hard to meet somebody that you're, one, attracted to, is going to respect you, and is willing to stick by you. And it's okay, we're young and we're not going to find it now, fine. If we don't find it so we're 22, fine. It's all right, you know, live and let live. Like, you are going to be fine without a man. You're going to be fine without a woman. You don't need to have somebody by your side. But if you are a guy and you're watching this and you know that this girl that you're talking to is above everything and is like goes above and beyond for you and you see you're not doing nothing for her, let her go because you, you see, you see what's up. You know that you're not giving anything. So why are you going to accept her everything? It's just not fair. It's not fair to her. It's not fair to anybody. So just leave her alone because she probably can't leave you alone because of other reasons, you know? Like, maybe she, she just doesn't know how to let go or I don't know. But basically, like, if you're a guy and you're watching this and either you're going to step it up or you're going to sit your ass down and let the guy behind you step it up. it up or you're gonna sit your ass down and let the guy behind you step it up because if you're not if you're gonna just sit down and and take and I mean take 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 and accept her giving everything to you whether it's like money gifts time patience loyalty respect all of those things she's giving you and you're taking them but you're not giving it's wrong it's, it's just wrong you don't just take and not give that's not fair it's not equal and it's just, it's just not equal. So that was part one. So basically, like, just respect yourself enough to be with someone that's on the same page as you intellectually. Um, res just respect in, in the aspect of respect because that's the point of a relationship. Finding someone who's going to respect you and your differences. And he's going to not only accept your flaws, but show you that they're not flaws, that they're, that they're beautiful and... That's just, it's just so simple. Um, people are so worried about, you know, like missing out a chance with somebody else or they're so scared to tell Facebook that they're in a, in a relationship. Why? Think about it, girl. Like, 
if if your if your boyfriend is still single on Facebook and single on Twitter and on Instagram and he and he's not even claiming you at all anywhere, think about why. The, what he's scared that his boys are gonna see that? Is he scared that girls are gonna see that? And he's gonna miss out on a few chances? That's not worth your time, I'm telling you. Because he's still single. At the end of the day, he still considers himself single. If you are in a relationship and he's still single and on social networking or in person or like outside, leave that because obviously he doesn't care enough or he doesn't accept your worth to just tell the world that he's with you. He has to be proud to be with you and you have to be proud to be with him. And together you should be proud as a couple. And if he can't do that for you, that just speaks volumes, you know? like. If he if he's unsure about everything, he's always like, I don't know how to feel, I don't he's flip floppy, get out. Because do you have time to be with someone that's flip floppy? Are you flip floppy? No. So just get out. Like you don't have to be with someone who is not sure to be with you. Because when you meet him, I promise you, he's gonna know that he wants you and he's gonna do anything to be with you. Because for him to see you with another man will kill him. It will kill him. So Wow, he won't let that even cross your mind and he's gonna do anything to be with you and I just I don't know like indecision is a decision if he if he's stuck on stupid if he's stuck on oh I don't know I'm not sure where this is going I'm not sure if I like you take that as your answer if you have to ask him oh do you, you know do you know if you like me like are we gonna be anything if you have to keep asking those questions repeatedly that's your answer take that answer and run with it. Run with it because it's not worth your time. Time is so valuable. Like time is all you have. When money's out the window, when your clothes, when your makeup, when your looks, when everything's out, your most prized possession is time because it's the only thing that we have limited here on this earth. Money you can have that. Clothes you can have that. Looks you can have that. You could enhance them, you can take them away. But time is precious, so don't let nobody waste your time. You know when you're wasting your time and you know when you're wasting somebody's time. And I just just don't do it. So yeah, so I um I'm gonna film another video on like first date rules, like what you should expect and what you shouldn't do and like if you're a guy what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing. Um that's gonna be my next video and hopefully the video before this was up already about me putting on my makeup. So it's the look that I have on today. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we'll talk to you guys in the next video.